grand rising or grand day, whichever you prefer. Welcome to my fail hair journey. So today on my fail hair journey, I am doing a nighttime routine for, with my box braids. Um, I am using Cantu Shea Butter Coconut Curling Cream um, for natural curls, coils, and waves. Let me read that one more time. For natural curls, coils, and waves. So I am aware, <laughs> speaking only to the comments that come from me all the time, um, I am very aware that this is a product for natural hair. Um, I am aware that this product pretty much um, curls natural hair uh, with other products as well. Um, let me see. Let me read the rest of it. Defines, softens, and moisturizes. So um, I am a big fan of Cantu products. Very big fan of them. Um, that's the how it looks. That's the texture. It's very creamy. And the smell is very, very nice. I really love the smell of this Cantu. It, it, of course, it smells like coconut, um, the fragrance type of coconut. It's real ironic that things that scented coconut doesn't actually really smell like coconut like the actual coconut but it's yeah it's that fragrance coconut smell and it smells really really good every time i put this in my hair also i get a lot of compliments so the reason why i chose this um this moisturizer um is because it is very moisturizing very moisturizing so i understand the purpose of the conditioner uh, for natural hair i'm glad i'm so glad that they went back and put for natural hair on the product because i've seen actually some reviews in the past they didn't i don't think they had for natural hair on here and a lot of um relax a lot of relax women were trying to use this product um and if your hair does have some texture, I believe that it will probably work. But if your hair doesn't have a lot of texture, it probably really won't work out. But what I will say about it, it's very, very moisturizing and it has a lot of good stuff in it. Um, so I'm just going to read some things um, off of the jar. Not everything that the jar says, but some things. Um, it says no sulfates, parabens, silicones. Uh, drying alcohol now I have read some of the ingredients it has alcohol in it but I guess they um, they specifically pointed out no drying alcohol so I guess it's alcohol in it but it's not drying alcohol which you know it's kind of uh, it's kind of contradictory kind of contradictory because alcohol is definitely drying so yeah that's what it says so it says good for type 3 curls and type 4 coils so it says can't you coconut curling cream Re reveals soft smooth elongated curls why it works formulated with shea butter coconut oil avocado oil almond oil hajoba Jojoba oil, <laughs> olive oil, mango seed, butter oil, carrot seed oil, and grape seed oil to deeply moisturize and slip and shine. All right, so uh, some of the ingredients, um, they're really small. I don't have my glasses right now, but I see water, which is good, canola oil. I see that alcohol. Uh, let's see, fragrance, mm -mm, shea butter, petroleum. Let's see, I see argon oil, coconut oil, 
carrot seed oil, soybean oil, macadamia seed oil, mango oil, mango seed butter. Let's see, avocado, aloe, aloe vera leaf, al aloe vera leaf. Uh, what else do I see? It's a lot of good stuff in this um in this product, and that's why I use it. I'm only using it um on pretty much my new growth. I have a little bit of new growth. I'm only using it on my new growth. I'm just moisturizing my hair. And let me say this. This is what I do for my hair. It may not be the right thing to do or it may not be what should be done, but this is what I do for my hair. Um, and as so far, it has worked out for me, but that doesn't mean that it'll work out for somebody else. Um, but this is what I do. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, I use it because it's very moisturizing. It has a lot of good, uh, I got a lot of good oils in it, a lot of good products in it. Um, and I'm just, I, like I said, my goal is to moisturize my hair to moisture 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 yes that's my goal to keep moisture in my hair so my hair will not be dry and my hair will not be breaking um and i can continue to grow my hair um i've had uh, good results so far so far i'm keeping my fingers crossed um if you've been here for a while, you already know I was pregnant. I had, I've just had twins. So my hair growth thus far could be a result from me being pregnant with twins. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying so hard to prevent um, postpartum shedding. Um, I am trying so hard to prevent it. So like, yeah, I'm hoping fingers crossed fingers crossed i'm hoping everything that i'm doing um maybe i could just skip that phase i'm i'm still taking all of my vitamins that i was taking while i was pregnant most mostly um i'm trying to moisturize my hair i'm trying to keep up with my hair all my hair i'm trying to do all these things so yeah hopefully hopefully with some good luck by the time i take these braids out my hair all the way i would have skipped post problems chatting we'll see we'll see i'll be coming on camera with you guys so if you you guys see a dramatic difference in my hair um yeah that's that's why postpartum shedding um but i'm hoping like i said i'm hoping that i could just skip through that stage maybe i might get lucky and <laughs> i might skip through it I don't know, but yeah, that's what I'm doing over here. So this this is what I'm doing. You don't have to do it. I'm not telling anybody else to do it. This is what I'm doing. So yeah. <laughs> So that's actually um, one of my head wraps. I find that my head wraps and long, um, real long, big scarves help me better with these braids. These braids are probably the um, thickest braids that I've had in a while. And I think there's so many of them and they're so thick because my hair has actually grown and my hair is pretty thick. So regular, like regular uh not rubber bands but scrunchies hair bands doesn't really work too well because it's a lot of hair so therefore i've been using my head wraps and it's been working out pretty well for me 
So I'm tying it kind of loose because I don't want it to be tight. Um, whereas though it's ripping out my braids. Um, so it's a little loose. So I'm just going to put a satin scarf over the top of my edges, trying to lock in all that moisture. So I'm gargling with some salt water. I find that to be a good solution as opposed to um, like alcohol based mouth washes. So I don't know what happened to my clip showing you guys what I'm actually putting on my lips. But that is actually a Bath & Body Works lip scrub. Um, and I put that on my lips every night. And with the warm washcloth, I usually leave that on my face for about five minutes. And, um, and wipe everything. Whatever residue is left on my face, I wipe it off. So this is pretty much the end of the video. Um, that's just some witch hazel I'm putting on my face because I I do have acne. And talking about acne, when I was pregnant with the twins, oh my, I broke out so bad. Oh my goodness, it was it was awful. But anyway, thank if you got this far in the video, thank you so much. And please do me a favor, like, comment, 
and most definitely subscribe to my ogs i ain't gotta tell you all nothing thank you for holding me down i really appreciate it and i'll see you guys in the next one take care